In the energy quadrant, taking a look at the September crude oil contract, which is in the midst of a small recovery, a one day slight bounce, which is not a very reassuring one. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the high today, 74.56, was up about one and three quarter percent. We're sitting up about three quarters of a percent right now, down about a dollar from there at about 73 and a half, let's call it. The low today, 72.20, that was down 1.01%. So why is this not a reassuring bounce? Well, first of all, the volume, and remember this initial volume, not official volume, is very low. Number two, we are lower than the open. So if you look at a traditional candlestick chart, you're seeing a red candle today, even though it's got a positive versus yesterday settlement of 72.94. Put all that together and you've got a bounce, but again, not a very reassuring one. Bearish commodities is a thing right now. Crude oil is not quite in a bear market as copper is. Crude oil is down about 18.5% from its recent high. But hedge funds are bearish, according to the CFTC trader uh, commitment of traders report, for the first time in eight years. Now, this may mean, since we're oversold on both copper and crude oil, that we might get a reversal here. It's not a guarantee. The uh, momentum indicators are not trading signals. But having hedge funds be bearish for the first time in eight years tells you a lot that crude oil may continue lower, or this may be that inflection point where too many people are on one side and we're gonna snap back higher. Also, US recession fears are easing a bit today according to rates. We had a big sell-off in rates over the last, let's call it week and a day, but today we have a double-digit rally in the treasury curve, two-year up 11, five-year up 12, 10-year up 12, 30-year up 12 basis points, that's all on the yield side. And also the probability of a 50 basis point rate cut in the September, at the September meeting, according to the CME Fed Watch Tool, has dropped by 20 points. So overall recession fear is still there. That could weaken crude oil demand, but they've eased a little bit and we got a positive session today.